Thank you very much, Mike. Canada, Canada had a record haul at the, at the Pan Am Games in Toronto over the past two weeks, taking home 217 medals, including an impressive 78 golds. And our next guest helped with that cause, picking up three gold medals on the cycling track. Calgary Zone, Monique Sullivan, here to show off her hardware this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. And congratulations. Thank you. Uh, now, you did bring along your hardware, so you're wearing two, and then yeah. we want to show this one off to camera so we can get a really nice close shot of it. And now, tell me, has this sunk in for you now that you're uh, back at home? Uh, not really, actually. It's, um, it's something that, like, the team has been working towards for a while, but to actually pull it off at home when it really counted. That was really awesome. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So, so you didn't expect to do as well as you did? Honestly, no. <laughs> uh, like, we were working towards it, and the training had been going really well with the team, but we didn't know how everybody else was, how was going, so it was uh, all of cycling. We sort of exceeded our expectations. Absolutely, yeah. and especially after having taken a break from the sport, and then you decided to make a comeback, so this must feel really good for you. Yeah, it's been it's been really awesome. The team has been really supportive, and um, yeah, I think I was just sort of burnt out and needed a break, and then came back uh, with fresh perspective and sort of renewed gratitude for the whole uh, sporting life. So that's been it's just been amazing to be back at it and um, finding success with the team. Absolutely. And speaking of the team, it was a tough competition in that one of your teammates, Katie O'Brien, you ended up competing against. So you compete together and then you compete against each other. But it actually, you were saying off camera, it makes a positive training environment. Yeah, so every day we're there sort of pushing each other. And she comes from bobsleigh. So she's brought a lot of uh, sort of new knowledge that she had, knows from bobsleigh. So she's brought that into the group. Um, so we're really helping each other. I know a little bit more about cycling, so just um, pushing each other, it's sort of working together, which is really neat because I, I didn't have a teammate before. Oh, sorry, I had teammates, but I didn't have a, a girl where we were fighting against each other, right. um, working together and training every day. So it really has brought the level of training up to a new level. And only one year in the sport for yeah. herself, which is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, but the strength and power that she's brought over from Bobsleigh, she's been able to transfer really well. So. Um, it's just crazy, I mean, the things that she's been able to do in such a short amount of time. So it's, it's really exciting as a team, especially for the team event. Uh, looking forward, I think that there's a lot of potential there, which is really fun for, for all of us. Yeah, which is exciting for the sport and for your team. And what an exciting time for you after, you know, so many years of hard work and then to earn these three gold medals. <laughs> How did you celebrate after your wins? Well, my, my family was there, which was amazing, so I got to give them a big hug right at the track, which I've never experienced before. That was amazing, and then just came home, and honestly, we were so tired um, just heading out to the mountains. Um, I didn't get to go camping yet, but just heading out to the mountains and being in, in nature was awesome. I know that you wanted, you had camping on the list of things to yeah. do. Uh, you might not get a chance to do that because you're right back at it tomorrow. Yeah, we start training again tomorrow. We had a week of recovery, but our season is just sort of ramping up. We start competing again in September, so right back, right back to training. Right back to training. And does this give you a level of confidence, I mean, looking ahead and towards the Olympics? It really does. The times that, I mean, not everybody was, was at Pan Am Games, obviously, but the times that uh, we posted were really positive, and the training has been going really well. So it really has been a nice boost uh, looking forward. It really has been. And really quickly, we want to mention something that's taking place on the side. You brought your helmet along here, yes. your competition helmet. And this was painted by a local artist, and it's being auctioned off? Yes. So Joel Jameson um, is a young kidney transplant patient here in Calgary. And he worked with Kelsey Frazier to paint the helmet. And I wore it um, for all the competitions at Pan Am's. And uh, we worked on the design together. Uh, it's pretty cool because Joel, now that he's at the front of it oh, here, sorry. there we go. Uh, so it's sort of called, nicknamed the Fire Leaf. Um, so we worked on it together, and it's cool because Joel, now that he is, um, he has received a, a new kidney. So now that he's healthy, he loves to mountain bike, and and so just sort of channeling that joy for riding, I think, is was really awesome for me, because when we're competing, sometimes you forget that riding bikes is just fun, and so it was really awesome to wear this helmet and. Um, I'd say it brought me a, a fair share of good luck. So Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so it's 
being auctioned off right now until July 30th, and okay. the organization is called Helmets for Heroes. Excellent, and an added sense of purpose for you as yeah. well. Well, congratulations, and thanks for being with us here oh. and sharing your story with us. That was really fun to watch our Canadians do so well, and particularly three medals for yourself. So that is outstanding. And best of luck in your training as well, getting right back at it tomorrow. Uh, we're looking ahead to the long weekend. If you're looking for some R&R, &R, maybe some <laughs> camping, we're going to line up some activities for you. Stay with us. It's 7.51. You're watching Breakfast Television on City.